Hello, my name is Zermis and welcome to One Hour, One Life. In this video, I'm going to be going over the very basics of survival as a brand new Eve in this game. This is going to be a very basic tutorial. So to start out, you want to be on this, you want to find the green uh, biome. If you didn't start in one, you're going to want to run around until you find it. In general, in this game, it's best to pick a direction and kind of run that way and keep moving that way. If you go in circles, you won't necessarily find new resources. Plus the resources might be depleted in the area where you're at. So the first thing you're looking for are these wild gooseberry bushes. They're like this. You can see how many berries are on them. If you pick it, you'll get a berry and then you can eat it. So in the lower left here, you can see your food meter. It starts full when you first appear, but it slowly goes down over time. In the lower right, you see your temperature meter. When the further you are away from the center, the faster you digest food, I suppose, the faster you burn calories. So I can eat food by popping it in my mouth, click on there, get the berry, click on my character, you eat it. It says you're full, but that'll slowly go away. So as you can see, I ate two out of the six berries here. These berries will slowly regenerate, but I certainly cannot live off of a single bush. So I'm gonna to need to keep exploring and find more of these berries. So let's just go ahead and keep on hitting right. Ideally, you'll find like an area that has a bunch of berry bushes so that you can be able to survive for more than just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and head through this uh, swamp area here. So there's also this uh, yellow area, which I'll go over in a little bit, but we're gonna stick to the green, the grassy biome, because that's where these berries are. So here's another one. As you find them, it's good to, you know, you can eat a couple, make sure you're not gonna starve. The main thing to try and do at the beginning of this game is not starve, of course. So, okay, that's a ram, that's safe. Uh, this here is a bear cave, don't poke it or bears will come out and they will eat you very fast. All right, so here's a berry bush. It looks like it's in the stone, but it was spawned by being near this green area here. So I got myself another berry. You can carry uh, one item at a time. So if you want to, you can grab a berry and take it for the road. So after you found a decent number of berries, which I haven't really found a good spot yet on this server, there's another way that's pretty easy to get more food. And in order to do that, we're gonna to need to craft our first item. So we're gonna find a stone. They should be lying around. You can find them pretty generally. Uh, here's another berry bush, so let's grab some berries. So for crafting in this game, when you click on an item or you're and holding it in the lower right corner you can see this little menu pop up tab will go through it forward shift tab will go through it backwards so you can determine every single craftable item in the game by using this menu here so for example if I combine a stone with a stone I'll get a stone pile right I can take the stone out of there you can kind of pile stones up and you can also construct things with that but that's like more advanced we don't need to do that yet the one that we care about here is this stone plus a big hard rock We'll make a sharp stone and a sharp stone is one of the most important tools in the game especially early on so we're going to walk around we're going to stick to the green area to see if we can find more berries so right here's a berry bush there's a berry bush over there as well and i did see a big hard rock right here so we hit it against there and now we've got a sharp stone so this is handy for a lot of different reasons one of the reasons so like Say I want to carry a stone and I also want to like, you know, carry some berries with me for the future, but I can only hold one item at a time. A good item you can make in this game, if you find these tool reeds, use your sharp stone to knock them down. And then you can pick them up. And if we look over here, a reed bundle plus a reed bundle makes a basket. So we put that there, grab this one, combine it, and now we have a basket. Baskets are super handy for all sorts of things. This game uses a system where only one item can be on a location at a time. I can't set two items over here. But with baskets, you can put items in the basket and it can store up to three items. So this helps conserve space a lot, which is pretty important. Always remember, the first rule is don't starve. So let's eat some more berries here. There we go. And we'll grab one from over here. It's sometimes good to balance your berries, so like if you have two bushes near each other, instead of eating all of one first, eat from them evenly, and then this one can regenerate its berry, because they can never have more than six berries. 
So if you find a good spot, like this is a pretty decent spot, we've got some berries here and I want to be able to center my activities around this area. Something we can do is if you find these little saplings here, let's get these rocks out of the way, take your handy sharp stone and hit that sapling and you'll get a skewer. So you put a skewer on the ground and then use a normal stone, not a sharp stone, and bonk it there, it sticks in the ground, and now this has created what is called a home marker. So now if I ever leave, I will always have an arrow pointing me back towards my home. And this is really handy if you've got like an area with food or where your farms are as you build them, and you'll want to be able to get back to it. So you're like, oh shoot, I'm starving, and you can like run back to there, and then you're like, oh great, and eat some food. Because you'll, you'll get really close to starving a lot of time, especially if you're exploring around. If you ever see a home marker and you want to make that your home instead, you can use the sharp stone to dig it up and then hit it and now it's your home marker if someone else had placed it. It's server site only so you don't have to worry about that messing anything up. So we're going to take our stone and our basket and we're going to go and find another fairly easy way to get some food if you're out here just trying to survive on your own. Just trying to make it past like age 20. Uh, oh, so there's snow over there. You want to be careful about snow because it's cold. It's like you can see my little temp meter kind of moves when you step on it. That's even colder than just running around naked, which is bad. Uh, so you want to avoid standing on there or you'll consume more calories and have to eat more. The more you have to keep eating, sort of the less progress you can make in the game because you're too busy just like trying to stay alive. So some of the early society stuff is trying to have efficient Ugh, so much snow. Have efficient ability to get food, and that starts with, you know, just being able to find food. Uh, in another video, I'll go into how to improve your living conditions other than running around naked, scrounging for food. So the next biome we're looking for, in case we can't find a bunch of berry bushes, is the yellow biome, which is like, I guess, the wheat, wheat kind of field. So we're going to run around into it. Uh oh, wolf. You got to be careful. Those guys will eat you. Uh, don't, don't chase me. Okay. So in here, there's not going to be berry bushes, but you will see that there's these wild, seeding wild carrots. So the first thing we want to do is take the seeds off the wild carrot and throw it on the ground. This is important because sustainability is a big part of this game. If we completely destroy the environment, you stay back for next generations, then it does no good. Anyways, I'm about to die. So you can use your sharp stone and dig up the carrot, and now you've got a carrot. It's a little bit better than a berry, but you definitely want to make sure you pull those seeds off because uh, the carrot doesn't necessarily regrow, but this will allow people to take the seeds and plant domestic carrots, which is important. So you can kind of wander around. Here's another one. Take off the seeds. Dig up the, whoops. So right click will pull your items out and then you can dig it up. You can left or right click to put it in, but getting you'll figure out the controls of putting things in and out. There happen to be a little green patch here, so you can also get some berries. And those are your two primary ways of staying alive early. Unfortunately, when you're playing on a live server, very shortly after you spawn in, you're gonna have a baby pop out. So if you're if you if you feel very uncomfortable uh, w with the, your ability to survive at all, so if it's like your very first time, you can hit enter and then say sorry baby, and then not feed them and then they will die. <laughs> it is a harsh world, but they will understand, uh, and it will happen to you multiple times probably as you spawn. And then once you get a little bit better, you can have your little baby. And you, if you carry them, every time you pick up your baby, you'll breastfeed them so that they will be fed. But every time you pick them up, it will consume a little bit of your food. So you'll have to eat more often. A good thing to do is just like run around with your baby while you're trying to do stuff. And they can like watch. And if you want to, because you kind of have to wait for them to grow up a little bit. So you like eat food when you need to but you hold on to them. As long as you're holding on to them, they won't starve. And you can give them little tips like, don't eat too many berries, <laughs> or else you'll get diarrhea. Uh, okay, so that's about it for the basic tutorial. You don't wanna eat too many carrots if you don't have to, but that is another way to survive. And finding the berries and get your sharp stone so that you can use it 
and you'll use this for a lot of different crafting things. You can take a look at the different things you can do with the crafting. For example, flint chips over here, dig those up. So a good thing to do when you're first starting out is stay alive and kind of poke at things and be like, what can I do with this? And check out the, the tips over here and to see what different sort of things you can craft. A lot of this stuff would get pretty advanced, like skin seal, you're probably not going to be doing that for a while. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, my next one I'll be going into some detailed tutorials on how to improve your living, improve your temperature, because this is a big deal on why my character is getting hungry so fast, and that will help a lot with survival. Alright, thank you very much for watching.